people receive power. Say power. power. When the Holy Spirit come upon you, there is many powers available to you. Now this power, this, these powers that's available to us is the blood of Jesus. Say the blood of Jesus. The power of Jesus. The victory of Jesus. All these are powers that's available to us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say the power of his cross. The power of faith. The power of his blood is available to me. But these powers will not kick into action and will mean nothing unless the Holy Spirit, the turbo of God Almighty, fall on you. The Holy Spirit is God's turbo. All these things that Jesus has done for us is available to us. But they cannot work unless the Holy Spirit come and activate them. Listen to me. You might believe about the blood of Jesus and you sit under teachings for many years and you believe it with all your heart. But if you haven't got the power of the, of, of the fullness of the Holy Spirit on you, it, it, those things and those truths will not be activated. That's why you need the Holy Spirit. Amen? Now it doesn't say that the Holy Spirit will give you power. Listen to the scriptures. You will receive power when the Holy Spirit come upon you. Meaning all the truth that you know about Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the victory of Jesus over Satan, that he was raised from the dead, all these awesome truths that he paid the price for us to be free, that by his wounds we are healed, all these precious truths will not come to life unless the Holy Spirit come upon you. When the Holy Spirit come upon you, the power of the blood of Jesus, the power of the victory of Jesus over, the, over Satan, all of a sudden come to life when the Holy Spirit come upon you. And this truth become a reality and power unto you. Say reality and power unto me. So you will receive power when the Holy Spirit come upon you, it does not say the Holy Spirit will give you power. You will receive power when the Holy Spirit come over you. Not that the Holy Spirit cannot give you power, but the Holy Spirit's aim is not to make you dependent on anything else but the covenant that Jesus has made with us with his own blood. There's an order in everything. I mean, God is almighty. We can do many things, but God does nothing without godly order. People, this is one thing we, many Christians miss this. And God is holy and just. He will not work outside of his word. He does nothing without his word. Say to the guy next to you, he does nothing without his word. To you. God does nothing without his word. He does nothing without his word. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So there's many principles of God that people ignore. So many powers is available to us. Say many powers is available to us. And these powers are not, it's not working for us. Many of us in our lives, these powers is not working. Why? Come on. Ask the guy next to you, why? Because we, because we ignore the principles of heaven. We ignore the commands of his word. I can give you many small ones with which we ignore. We acknowledge the big ones. You shall not murder. You shall not steal. We don't ignore the big ones. That is obvious. But there's small ones that are small in our eyes. Which we ignore. And the power of God is not available or is not working in our lives. Although it is available to us. Say so this power of God. These powers. The blood of Jesus. It's not working in Christians' lives because they ignore the principles of God in Jesus' name. For example, I can give you many. You, you obey the big ones and you take note of the big ones. Say, the big ones. Thou shalt not murder. Thou shalt not steal. But you ignore the small ones. In your eyes, small. God's principles. There's many of them. For example, giving your tithe and your offering to God. You come Sundays, you ask, Pastor, pray for me for breakthrough and my finances. And I pray for you for breakthrough. And many of you receive that breakthrough, but your breakthrough do not last long. Why? Because 
you got holes in your pocket. So this principle of God blessing me and goodness and favor will follow me all the days of my life is working in my life for a while, but if I ignore his command and his word and his principles, it will be ineffective in my life. The Bible is very clear on that. You give your tithe and your offering. Listen, I'm not an American preacher and I don't want your money. But you ignore this principle. You will struggle with your finances. You know, quite some time ago, I told many of you the Lord, what the Lord told me. Last, last night and yesterday, He spoke to me again. He said, tell my people not to go into debt. Do not make debt. Please, you are binding yourself to the systems of this world. Do not make unnecessary debt. And please, as a Christian, you don't go to cash loans, please. That is a sin. And, the, and if you go to the cash loan business to get your money, you are, you, you are part, you're a participant in that. And your money gets stolen and the end of the month you've got nothing you suffer in poverty you can maybe maybe you've got a big salary but you don't come out your fill your money why because you don't give your tithe and your offering you say pastor i cannot give my tithe and my offering my money is too little if you walk in the spirit and you use God's wisdom and you apply God's principles to your life, your money will work out and you will even be prosperous more. You ignore this principle, God will ignore your finances. There's many other, many others. The order in a household of men and women. You want to run for Jesus, you get many women. They want to run for Jesus flat out. They want to over, overrun their husbands. Now, I don't speak about husbands that is too lazy to serve God. I tell you, say to the guy next to you, I hope you're not too lazy. I don't command a woman to hold back because her husband is too lazy or slack to serve God. But where a husband is running for God, there should be a, a godly order in the home. A man should be a man and a woman should be a woman. Hallelujah. 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 You should not ignore the principles of God's word. 